former leader of the Capital Region-based cult Nexium continues fighting his conviction from prison. His lawyer wants a new trial and wants it without the judge who presided over the 2019 trial. Keith Ranieri's 120-year prison sentence that started in 2020 continues. An appeals court upheld his conviction last month. Today, his attorney, Joseph Tully, appeared in a federal appeals court in Manhattan, asking that Judge Nicholas Garofis be disqualified before the motion for a new trial is dealt with, taking issue with what he feels has been bias on the bench. So if there's a question about a judge's partiality, that should be decided first before they decide another substantive motion. After several minutes of arguments, the court said it would take the matter under submission. As for the hope for a new trial, Ranieri's lawyer feels it stands a chance of being more successful than the appeal, alleging the FBI tampered with evidence related to child pornography on a hard drive. Um, it'll be a, a completely different set of issues. Um, the new trial will be focused solely on the tampering, where the, the appeal uh, was not. Federal prosecutors have denied the claims of government tampering with evidence. Tully, the latest to take on Ranieri's case in what's been a sort of revolving door of representation. Whether he's a, a good guy or a bad guy, a nice person or the, or, or, or the devil, um, everybody deserves a fair trial. Tony Natale, who dated Ranieri in the 90s and was one of the first to speak out against him, says she has faith in the Eastern District of New York court and any judge who would preside over his case, adding, quote, it's the same playbook with different players, terrorism by litigation, and just another way for Ranieri to re-traumatize his victims. And that proceeding taking place at 2 p.m. today in Manhattan. Now, Ranieri is not the only Nexium player who has been fighting from prison. Last month, the court also upheld the sentence given to Claire Bronfman, a former director of the group. She was the Seagram's liquor fortune heir, and she was convicted of harboring someone in the U.S. illegally and committing a credit card fraud on Ranieri's behalf. Now her appeal was unsuccessful as well, and she was sentenced in 2020 to nearly seven years in prison. This story just continues to develop over the years, so we'll keep you posted.